Hey, so we bought our Model S in December of 2017, and uh, in December of 2018, after a year of ownership, uh, we were really enjoying the car. Uh, you know, Tesla service had been great um, for the most part, but they they had always gotten around to fixing problems that that were warranty issues. And uh, in December of 2018, we noticed a problem with the touchscreen. Have a look. So, you can see a yellow ring around the outside of this touchscreen. It goes all the way around. It's a little harder to see at the bottom because it's black, but it's definitely there. And uh, it showed up, um, you know, about nine months ago now, and it keeps getting worse. There is also a yellow ring developing around the ICU, although it is much more difficult to see. Uh, the sun has to be at a very low angle in order for that to show up. So I took the car in and uh, to the service center in January of 2019 and to have some other issues fixed. And I also had noted the, the yellow around the screen. Well, they fixed the other problems, but they didn't do anything with this. And the service advisor at the time said uh, they were aware of the problem that it was common in a lot of Model S and X vehicles and that they couldn't fix it yet because uh, all of their replacement screens had the same problem. So they were working, he said they were working on a screen that wouldn't have this problem and then uh, when that was available they could replace ours. And he said he'd put my name down on a list um, to have that done as soon as the fix was available and they would contact me. So fast forward eight months to August, uh, I have not heard anything from them. Uh, I've been monitoring the situation on some of the forums, and this definitely seems to be a very, very widespread problem in the S and the X, um, manufactured from 2015 on. Uh, there's some question as to whether the latest models from uh, mid-2019 are going to have the same problem, because it does take a little bit of time to develop. Some people develop it within a few months, others it takes you know, a year or two. There's no, not really any rhyme or reason to it and nobody really knows why it's happening. There's a lot of speculation, and um, Tesla has sent very conflicting information to owners when they report this problem. Um, and that's the main reason why I'm making this video, because it's been ex extremely frustrating over the past eight months trying to get answers from Tesla on this. I set up an appointment through the app to have the screen replaced uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, the appointment was for the 20th, and um, after a few days, I got a text from Tesla, and they said that uh, they wanted to cancel the appointment. They said an, a UV fix was av uh, available or was being worked on. They didn't say it was available, but they said that the fix was being developed, and um, I would need to wait for that. They said they would not replace the screen under warranty, that if I wanted it replaced, I would have to pay for it. They quoted $1,300 to do that. Uh, I asked, um, I, they also made clear that if I paid to have the screen replaced, they could not guarantee that the new screen would not have the same problem. So uh, to that I asked, are you currently producing Model S and X with this problem? And the gentleman I spoke with said he, he didn't know. Um, now, it goes to reason that if I pay for the screen replacement, I should get uh, a screen that does not develop this problem. So if they can't guarantee that, uh, logically, it makes sense that they are not currently developing cars with a fixed screen and that all of the current cars they're developing could potentially have this same yellow ring problem. Now, that's really concerning to me because early on, I was very happy with my Tesla. I, I told other people I was happy. and. Um, you know, I wanted other people to get them too because they're great cars overall. But now I don't feel like, like, like I can make that recommendation. And when people ask me what I think of this car, I have to be honest and tell them, well, there's this yellow ring on the screen. And so far, Tesla has been unable or unwilling to fix it. Now they're claiming that uh, it's not a warrantable condition, that it's considered uh, cosmetic, and that. Uh, any UV fix that they do provide is just goodwill, that it's not a warranty fix, that they'll only apply it once, and uh, if, it, if it doesn't work or if it uh, stops working at some point, if the yellow ring comes back, 
well then we're left to deal with it on our own we can pay for future fixes but they're not covering it under warranty that's pretty crappy in my opinion uh, Tesla has been great about covering pretty much everything else on this vehicle under warranty in, including other issues that are clearly cosmetic in nature um, when we took delivery there was a paint chip on the rear hatch and they took care of that no questions asked no problems we had some stains on the on the carpet that had, hadn't been there um, or had been there at delivery um, and we we mentioned those they took care of those no problem and uh, there have been a few other uh, problems that they've fixed so um, generally they've been great about fixing things but in the case of this display they've just been dragging their feet from what I've been reading online, it sounds like a lot of people are resorting to arbitration to get them to fix this within 30 days. Because I still don't have an ETA on when they want to apply this UV fix. I don't want to pay $1,300 to replace a screen when this car is less than two years old and still has over two years to go on the warranty. Uh, so it's a very frustrating situation to be in. If you were considering buying an S or an X, my recommendation would be to hold off until this is resolved because you might end up with this same issue, and Tesla is not doing the right thing for their customers at all. Um, like I said, a lot of the communication has been hit or miss. Uh, they keep telling conflicting stories. It sounds like some people are successfully getting replacement screens, but then some of those screens are developing the same yellow ring. Um, there's been talk about whether or not these screens were actually automotive grade, whether Tesla might have known that there could have been a problem ahead of time. I really don't know. It doesn't seem like they would have taken that kind of risk, but who knows? Uh, the yellow ring is caused by um, the adhesive under the screen uh, oxidizing, apparently. Um, Tesla is claiming that it's either heat or humidity or sunlight that's causing it, and um, nobody really knows. So anyway, the point of this video was just to, to warn anyone who's looking at getting a Model S or a Model X to be aware of this problem maybe consider putting off the purchase maybe look at a model 3 instead <laughs> sounds like the screens in the model 3 do not have this same problem but um, yeah just just be aware of this if you're if you're buying a used model s or x you should probably be aware of this as well and, and check for the problem and just know that if you do have the problem you're probably going to get a hard time from tesla um, when you try to get it fixed Hopefully this UV fix that they're rolling out works and is permanent, and uh, if, if repeated attempts are required, Tesla will, will do that for free, because um, really it, it's hard to argue that this is not a warrantable issue. The, the ring has gotten so severe on, in some situations that actually blocks the icons along the bottom of the, the screen and making it very hard to see them. Or, or impossible to see them. Also, uh, other people have reported that the uh, as the glue breaks down, the capacitive layer on the touch screen is unsealed and they start getting spurious touch events on the screen. And that's actually a safety hazard uh, since you might accidentally, uh, it's conceivable a combination of spurious touch events might turn off your headlights at night or something like that. So, um, so yep, if you're thinking of, of buying one, just be aware of the problem and um, keep in mind that Tesla is not doing right by their customers so far. Um, hopefully they will. Uh, I support the company. I support what they're trying to do. I think they build really good cars overall. Um, this touchscreen problem has been a true disappointment and has um, taken me from a, a 10 supporting Tesla and loving their products down to about a, a one and a half or a two, honestly. Um, I wouldn't at all be this frustrated if they were uh, communicating better and if they were um, if they were stating that this would be a, a warrantable thing, that they would cover this under warranty instead of trying to get out of it by saying it's not a warrantable item, that it's purely cosmetic, that um, if you bought a laptop and it developed this problem, um, well, that would be an issue. Uh, this console is, the MCU is the center feature of the Model S and the Model X, and uh, 
it shouldn't have this this yellow ring less than two years into ownership in some cases less than six months into ownership so hope this helped uh, inform you of the situation if you have any specific questions or anything feel free to ask those in the comments and uh, definitely do your research and read uh, read the forums and find out uh, you know how other people have been affected by this and, and make your own decision. I hope this helped.